Hello, my name is Ikello Herod, and this is the Future Fiction Factory, and today we are going to be playing with Llama 3, but not just Llama 3. We're going to be playing with Llama 3 inside of Grok, and not Grok with a K, but Grok with a Q. And Grok with a Q is completely different than Grok with a K. Grok with a K is a large language model. Grok with a Q is a chip. And not only a chip, but a fast chip. And that fast chip has just been given a new toy in the form of Llama 3. So let's <laughs> jump right in. This is Grok's homepage. Now, this is a actual like FAQ of the homepage. And in this FAQ, it kind of gives you a lot of answers on what the heck the Grok is. Grok is an LPU. What is an LPU? The inference engine? Well, an LPU inference engine with LPU standing for language processing unit is a new type of end-to-end -end processing unit system that provides the fastest inference for computational intensive applications with a sequential component to them, such as an AI language application. Why is it so much faster than a GPU for LLMs and Gen AI? The LPU is designed to overcome the two LLM bottlenecks, compute density and memory bandwidth. An LPU has greater com compute capacity with an LPU has greater compute capacity than a GPU and CPU in regards to LLMs. This reduces the amount of time per word calculated, allowing sequences of text to be generated much faster. Additionally, eliminating external memory bottlenecks enables the LPU inference engine to deliver orders of magnitude better performance on LLMs compared to GPUs. For a more technical read about our architecture, download the ISCA awarded 2020 and 2022 papers. Does Grok run standard language models? Well, Grok supports standard language learning frameworks such as PolyTorch, TensorFlow, and Onyx for reference. Grok does not currently support ML training with the LPU inference engine. For custom development, the Grokware suite, including Grok Compiler, offers a push button experience to get models up and running quickly. All right, sounds like it's something that we want to play with. Now, this is the idea. The idea is that we are going to use the playground to play around with this large language model. As you can see behind me, I've already started kind of diving into it and I've been bouncing back and forth. First off is we're going to set up a whole new chat and what we're gonna do is we're going to start off with the Llama 3 model, the 8 billion parameter one, and we're gonna give it a system prompt and we're gonna see if it can, what makes for a good short story. And then we'll see if we can actually get it to do that short story. You write the songs that make the whole world sing. You write songs that mean everything. You write the songs that make young girls cry. You write the songs. You write all of the songs. That means that you are an expert in all things that are writing songs. You are well-versed in every genre of music and you will give appropriate lyrics for whatever genre or scenario or plot that you are given for said song. I would like to write a song about a, a park ranger who is wishing that her life had more involved in it because she's now 35 years old, wishing that the world had not passed her by. It's an upbeat song, but it's also 
a bit melancholy. It's the opening number of a musical. If there are background vocals that you want to include, please do so inside of parentheses. Every section should have a header such as verse with the appropriate brackets that have just appeared. That was an actual awful prompt, but we are going to go with that. <laughs> we are going to go with that. And Llama right over here is going at one. It's at a 1%. It's only a thousand tokens. And the maximum amount of tokens generated requests is up to 8,000. So we're going to take this up to about 3,000. That way we'll get a nice long song. And we're going to keep it like that. And we're not going to mess with the top P or anything like that. We're just going to go with this system prompt, go with this, and see how fast it writes this song. Are you ready? I uh, hope you are, because if you blink, I believe you'll miss it. Here we go. We're hitting submit. All right, here we go. And we're going. And the song is done. Do you understand what I'm saying here? The song is done. It's absolutely done. I don't know if you understand how fast that was, but if you saw it, I mean, you it, it literally, you, it, it followed every single direction. It's the Llama 3, and you can iterate and say, try again. It's done. Again. That quickly. It's an amazing thing to see. It's lightning quick, lightning fast. I will have a link down in the bottom right there so that you can go over to Grok and get yourself onto this API. Grok is so fast, and with Llama 3, you really get these nice quality performances. Let's see what some of it actually says here. Let's see. I wake up in the morning in my worn out boots and hat. Another day of patrolling the same old trails I've been at. But as I look around, I feel the weight of time. I'm 35 and wandering, wondering why my life's not quite aligned. And then background vocals. Oh, the world is moving fast, and I'm still in the past. I'm a park ranger living in a uh, I'm a park ranger living in a world outside, but deep down I'm still searching, hoping to find my ride. I'm chasing the sunset, trying to make it right, but as the years go by, I can't help but wonder why. Verse 2, I used to dream of adventure, of far-off lands and seas, but life had other plans, and now I'm stuck in repetitive ease. I long to be explored, to have my heart on fire, but it's hard to find my spark when my life's stuck in a whirl. We're all just trying to find out through the noise and the fray. <laughs> in a park, I'm a park ranger living in a world outside, but deep down I'm still searching, hoping to find my ride. That's so slick. All right, so that was the that was the first one. Let's see what the second one is. And this is it trying for a second time to do this. Here's another attempt. I walk these trails every single day. Oh, I what with a sigh, I take the same route in every way. The sun is getting low on this life. On this life I've never known, and I'm left wondering why. I'm stuck feeling all alone. I'm, oh, I'm 35 and fading, feeling wild and free, but the world is moving fast and I'm lagging behind. Watch me. I'm chasing sunsets, trying to find my way by the years, but the years are all rolling by and I'm running out of time. What can I say? So that's much worse than the first one. So let's go with this one. I wake every morning with my boots worn out and hat. With my worn out boots and hat. I don't know what the name of this one is, but we will maybe have another video where we actually come up with any old thing. 
uh, inside of Suno, uh, Suno or Udio, and maybe we'll make a song of it. But that was a very quick demonstration. As a matter of fact, if I wanted to, I could literally go even deeper and uh, do a something else. So I have no system thing right here, as you can see, right behind me. I have nothing right here. This is just me giving it a user prompt, which it says, write a story about a reluctant uh, crime boss right here, right? And I changed it, and the first one was from, uh, the first one was Llama 3, and the second one is Mixtral. And they are of equal size because they're only like a thousand tokens. I should have made them bigger, but I didn't. And uh, they look pretty good. Michael Wong stood at the bar sipping on a whiskey as he gazed out the window over the crowded streets of New Eden. It was almost 8 p.m. On, on a Saturday night, and the habitat was alive and well. Cars and grav taxis zoomed by outside, horns honking as the sound of music and laughter filled the air. But Michael's mind wasn't in the vibrant atmosphere. His thoughts were back home with his family or his family's organized crime business. It was a never ending struggle to keep the rival gangs and family members in line. He sighed, feeling the weight of responsibility settle into his shoulders. He took another sip of his drink, feeling the burn of whiskey. Now that right there is the first one. And here is Mixtral's version. Michael Wong sat in his high backed chair, Surrounded by the hustle and bustle of the underground casino, he was one of the many businesses owned by the Wong family, and it was a prime source of income for the organization. The smell of smoke and the sound of laughter filled the air as Michael watched the poker tables and blackjack tables. He scanned the gamblers, searching for any signs of trouble. But his mind wasn't on the casino. It was on the rival families who were encroaching on his territory. He knew he had to be vigilant. He couldn't let them, his guard down, or risk losing everything. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is that. That is a comprehensive look at, at, at Llama 3, at Brock, at what Brock is and how fast it is to create these things. You saw how fast it did it. As a matter of fact, I can even show you one more time. Here, let's uh, say try again. We're just going to say try again. Try again. And we'll hit submit. And there it is. Another story of the same caliber. That, ladies and gentlemen, is pretty spot on that. My name's Ekel O'Hara. This is the Future Fiction Factory. I hope that you like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.